Ball out from the back from Doherty. Turned inside. Here's low. Oh, and Curtis has made a great run here. Reese across. Curtis has two and he's inside. Oh, it's their contact. Curtis has gone down. But nothing from the referee. Well, Ronan Curtis, lovely little change of direction there. Dragged the ball with him. And there certainly seemed to be contact. Looked like that should have been a Derry City penalty. Derry City have enjoyed some great European nights. That great run in the UEFA Cup qualifiers 06 07. But uh, some harsh realities tonight. That's a little casual, and Boyle has picked his pocket. And as a result of that, Ronan Curtis hammers home a goal for Derry. It's a consolation with a quarter of the game remaining. But very casual at the back for Mitchell, and that will not please their manager, yes, Thorup. But credit to Nathan Boyle here. Never get it up, put the pressure on Reese. And Curtis, the beneficiary. Positive moment for Curtis and for the... And more heroics from the Westport man followed. Roman Curtis broke down the left. Ben Doherty made up a lot of ground to join the attack. Doherty denied on the double by the inspired O'Malley. Roman Curtis skipped away from a couple of challengers before curling the ball exquisitely to the net. A wonderful strike from Curtis, his second goal of the season. Simon Madden Derry City quickly winning it back here comes Curtis the little one two with Schubert and Curtis drawing the save from Chensinski first goalkeeper in action this evening Curtis who's been in fine form in recent weeks nice combination play Derry were quickly into their stride and were handed a chance to go ahead. Ronan Curtis carried the ball forward to play in Joshua Daniels, who hit the ground under Mark Ludden's challenge. Curtis duly stepped up to take the free kick, brilliantly pushing it beyond the reach of goalkeeper Connor Wynn and into the net. The Cali Stripes were up and running, but were quickly able to turn defence into attack and carve out a scoring chance of their own. After McNamee's long ball forward, Curtis sent in the cross for Boyle. But his header on target was blocked by Lee Grace and Galway were able to clear. Not happy to sit back and defend their slender lead. Dean Jarvis broke into the penalty box before finding Boyle in space. But agonisingly for him and Derry, his shot came back off the post. And the visitors almost took the lead in the 65th minute. Ronan Curtis did very well to cut inside on his right surer foot. But too much power saw his effort fly over Cherry in the Bray goal. Bray manager Kenny relieved to see that chance coming to nothing. Team soft defending. In all fairness to Derry, who'd completely dominated the second half, they did try hard to come back yet again. Harry Monaghan, Curtis and sub Mark Timlin all involved before the cross fell to Dean Jarvis, but Hugh Douglas snuffed out the danger last. Derry teams don't lie down and they equalised midway through the first half. A brilliant through ball from Nicky Lowe found Ronan Curtis, who fired across Peter Cherry to make it one apiece. And Derry should have taken the lead shortly after that. 